So first of all, let's do. Oh, hey, wait, where'd the orb go? Where'd it go? Did you just see it? I just saw it. Did you just see it on the screen? I don't know where it went. Did you just see the light? Like, rewind and look. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look now when I. Where'd it go? Where are you, orb? I just saw you. There it is. Besides whatever that is on my. I cannot physically see it. Somehow it uses the camera. Okay. I'm gonna screenshot of this. Remember when this started? Stays. I can't keep the phone still. Sorry, I'm trying to screenshot. That was not a successful screenshot. Let's try that again. really hard here. Oh, that's the up button instead of the down button. That's why. Alright, I got it. How cool is that? So apparently... From what I'm learning, spirit takes is able to use energy, light. I don't, I don't, I'm still trying to understand it to make itself so dense in energy that it can make itself be seen via like cameras. But like kids can often just see orbs, like just see them, right? Like I'm, I need the help of the camera still. And um, so Katie Mata is the one who hosted the retreat that I did. Her ex-husband in that house where the retreats are held, I guess there's a bunch of orbs and he can see them. Like he can see them, not with like help of a camera, but he can see them. Crazy cool. So first of all, this is what I was gonna share because how amazing is this news? Because I only made 21000 <laughs> last year. But luckily, I had the PUA. I had unemployment. I don't know how much of that is included in there. I had my parents' help. But because of it, I get a flipping tax return. I'm so excited. I get one federal and one... Um, I'm not really sure how that's going to look. Um, since I still owe the IRS a whole bunch of money, but it says I get a tax return and an Arizona refund check, so I'm pretty pumped. Um, so I just, not I just, it, it's been a little, I mean, I just went for a jog slash run slash walk. It's 1130, I need to go to bed. I'm like so wired right now from all this. Everything I was texting you about, like, accepting that I really did die at some point, uh, girl, through just thinking about when the source light started showing up in my photos, to tracing back our Marco Polo videos to see what night, like, what was the night before that. So the source light started really, really that one from like, from straight up all the way down, the one with the little girl. That was on the day that I ended up meeting up with Wayne and learning I needed to get the implants out. It was the night before that, 
early in the morning. So basically this is all in the same day. This is all on March 6th because it was Mar the night of March 6th. Middle of the night that I woke up knowing I, knowing I needed to get the implants out. But it was that morning. Do you remember the video that I left you? I'll share it with you. I'll share the link from, cause I ended up uploading this to YouTube. Um, the video that I left here that night telling you I was unwinding and then I had the memory and I could see myself on the beach with the three children playing and then realizing that I lost that child. I asked the pendulum. I'm pretty sure that was actually me like, like leaving this world in that video where I was like, I think I just fell asleep and I woke up and I was like, holy crap. Like I actually just got some sleep. That felt amazing. Like, holy crap. Um, I asked the pendulum and it said that that was the moment that I died. I, I think I might have. And I know you're not going to judge me. And you thought your friend Lorianne was crazy. Like, you thought she was crazy. You want to talk about crazy? Let's talk about crazy. Um, that's pretty sure that was me, like, entering into another world. Like, another not being here when I like have my hand over and caught my fucking hand and arm looked awful in that video. Ugh. I'm kind of glad Marco Polo doesn't have as good as, oh, hey, there's a little orb hanging out with me again. Hey, hey, hi, hi. Look, oh, look at it, it's so cute. Oh my God, Danielle, wait, get back there. Danielle, it's so cute, look at it. It looks like a little mini, like, I don't know, spaceship kind of a thing. Danielle, it's so cute. So who are you? Wait, get back here. I wanted to screenshot you. Where'd you go? Oh, wait. No, I saw you. Where'd you go? Come on. Where'd it go? I wanted to take another... Oop. I wanted to take another screenshot. Of it. Right there. Look at how cute. No, I gotta go that way. Ooh, it just changed color. How the... Okay, okay. So it's like greenish there. And then it's like yellowish there. How does it change? Okay, seriously. I'm having a lot of fun with this, but like seriously, like I want to be able to see it. Sorry, I'm trying to screenshot. I don't think it changes color. It's probably too in my hair. Let's try this again. Okay. Um, so you thought your friend Lori Ann was crazy. Girl, I think you might be calling me your crazy friend Jenny. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know there's no judgment. I know. That's why I'm sharing. I know. Have you told Brant those? Like... Have you told anybody, like, I don't, I don't know, I feel, like, kind of weird saying it out loud, but I did, like, like, tracing things back and being like, okay, this is when I saw the majority of the source light, okay, and then it was that night of the 7th that I had my date with Wayne and then realized I needed to get the implants out, so it was that morning of the 7th 
that I have that Marco Polo video of me going to La La Land. Can I, can I just put it that way? And there's a the little orb. That's really cute. And the source light like directly into, God, that would be a really good video. Really good photo. Ooh, I think I got it. Um, whoa, there's two! Danielle, there's two. Okay, seriously, there's two. So who are they? So there's spirit here with me right now. But who? How do I, can I screenshot this? This is fun. I definitely don't feel scared, although it is a little weird to know that there's just like spirits hanging out in here with me. I think it's weird because I can't see them. Oh, I'm trying to get you guys both in the same shot. Can, can we like help my hands stay steady? Sorry, this is not easy to screenshot. No, I think I only got one. Let me try this again. I know, I'm sorry. This is like... Oh, I keep pushing the volume button. How do I do this and get... Ooh, I think I got it. I'm gonna try one more, sorry. You're like, you're crazy girl. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm now, you're like legit. Okay, I think I got it. Um... I mean, I have the whole video, but seriously, there's like orbs floating all around me. Like, which means from everything I'm learning, there's spirit here with me right now, which is cool. Kind of wish I could see them. Kind of wish I knew who they were. Kind of like not freaking out, but like in a way, it's it is it's a little you know like to be like okay. There's other stuff here with me right now. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I, I think it'd be really cool to see, like, who it is, you know? But then again, I'm a human, and, and like, maybe they're just not human form. Um. God, that's really cool. Okay, seriously? Um, I got really distracted. Um. So it was the night of basically the 6th into the 7th, but early in the morning on the 7th that I left you that video. I don't know what time it was. Um, I guess I could look at Marco Polo to see. Um, I think I saved the video. I don't, I don't know if it tells you. I don't know if Marco Polo still t tells you the time or just the date after. It's been a while. Um, but it was the morning of early on the 7th that I left you, I think, that video of me going to La La Land. And then I left you the video, it says around 4.30, of me waking up. It was the day before that on the 5th that I took the picture of me looking awful. The one that I posted to social media. Probably like the worst I looked. And it was that, that day was the day that I was driving up to Sedona to go hike Boynton Canyon. And it was the 6th, the morning of the 6th, 
that I had that dream, quote, dream with Brian, where I literally told you that when I opened my eyes, I, I thought he was going to be there. So from everything I'm learning about quantum, I'm pretty sure that's what quantum is. Like, I literally, I was somewhere. It wasn't a dream. Like, I was somewhere. I was with him. I was with him so much that when I, quote, woke up, I thought he was going to still be there because I was still there. Does that make sense? So that was the, the night of the 6th, like the 5th into the 6th. So, like, early in the morning, I think. Whatever I just said. And then I told you about that dream later in the evening on the 6th. And then that night of the 6th is when... I had the experience of going to La La Land. Basically the morning of the 7th. And then the 7th is when I saw the source light with the little girl. I don't remember seeing that little girl, by the way. Like, I took the picture. I did not see a little girl when I was standing there taking the picture. So, I don't even know if that girl was, like, physically here in this realm or like a vision that showed up on the, the film because I don't remember seeing that girl. I remember seeing all the people on the stairs, but I don't remember seeing the little girl, the one with the source light going down to her. And then it was that night that I went on the date with Wayne and then woke up that night and said I need to get my breast implants out. So going back a little further, it was on the morning of the 4th that... I experienced an awful, horrible, terrible panic attack where I was literally ready to go check myself into a hospital to ask them to put me under to just make it all go away. And that was the morning that I ended up having a session with my therapist. I called Carissa first and then uh, it was time for my therapist. I think I took a shower in there. And then I had my session with the therapist and I was like, I don't know. I feel like I need to go to the hospital and just like have them put me under and this will all stop. And she was, she was like, do you need to go to the hospital? Like, do you want, like, like, I think she said that. I think she was like, do you want to go to the hospital? Do you need to go to the hospital? And I was sitting there doing this. My head was responding, but my brain was thinking. And I was like, well, I'm shaking my head no, so I'm going to take that as no. And she was able to help calm me back down. I just thought I'd share that with you. That's a lot again. I feel like this has been a lot. Thank you for holding space. And now sharing in these enjoyment of these orbs with me okay there's no way that this is like just caused by like my phone because there's two there's literally two there's no way like because I was like well maybe it's from like the, the lens thingy on my phone there's no way that's from the lens thingy on my phone because there's two of them there's one I don't know why I'm pointing you can't see me point there's one and two. That's pretty cool. Okay, it's like midnight. I'm gonna go try to read and fucking unwind. I'm gonna go try to read and get some sleep because I still, I need to wake up in the morning and exercise again. I just, I just, it's been a night. Okay. I love you. I just blew up your phone even more. I've been blowing up your phone a lot. Thank you. Thank you for letting me. Thank you for holding space. Thank you for letting me be all my crazy that I've been over this past fucking, I don't know, year, months. I don't know. I don't know. But especially lately and especially now knowing. And then my therapist tells me that she she has experienced an NDE. 
like she she went to the quantum once when her mom passed away and her mom basically like she felt when her mom passed away because it was like this gust of wind like through her she was getting her nails done she said that the nail tech even felt it and it was that exact moment that her mom passed and she said she went to the quantum but i haven't heard like details yet i was like can you please tell me about this and she was like yeah, i'll tell you um because this is the first time she's told me that she experienced an NDE in her sleep. She said after that she experienced an NDE in her sleep. I was like, wait, what? Like, how did you do that? How did I? How did, I've seen her now for 20 sessions. How am I just now finding this out? Like, seriously? But, I mean, I just found out that I experienced an NDE um, at my naturopath on Monday. So, I mean, it's kind of like eh. like, she, why would she share it if it wasn't something relevant to me? And now that it's something relevant to me, now she's sharing that she experienced an NDE. So now I can't wait to talk to her, but I don't have another session with her for three weeks. Because I'm gone for two weeks, so it's that third week. I don't think I confirmed that with her. I should really do that. Okay, I love you. Have a good night from the spirits and I. Because, you know. Seriously. Seriously, look at that. That's so cool. Okay, I love you.